हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ रिचा महाजन आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जर्नलिज्म एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन जगन्नाथ यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे माय टॉपिक इज व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फोटो एडिटिंग टेक्निक्स लाइक क्रॉपिंग एडिटिंग ऑफ फोटोज वंस यू हैव गॉट द हैंग ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर कैमरा एक्सपोजर बेसिक्स एंड हाउ टू कम्पोज अ ग्रेट फोटो it's time to learn a few photo editing essentials to put the finishing touches on your artistic vision the step below will get you started on the photo editing process right away you will also find things to think about before you be begin editing at the end of this article number 1 is crop images crop the image is very common tool It's best to crop to improve minor compositional details like distracting elements at the edge of the frame or repositioning your subject slightly. Next is spot cleaning images. The outdoors is a the outdoors is a dusty place and nature's gritty elements have a way of finding their way onto your camera lens and then onto your photos using a lens brush regularly in the field cuts down on this next is adjust the white balance white balance relates to color levels not exposure levels if your image has an overall color tone that you find this pleasing or unnatural you can adjust white balance to fix it note that jpg files you can see that jpeg files because they capture far less digital data than raw files offer a minimal amount of white balance adjustment during editing next is adjusting exposure this is the process of making the photo exactly as bright or dark as you want note that noise a mottled look can sometimes be produce be introduced when you crank up the brightness that's why it's always better to get the correct exposure one that's sufficiently bright when you first take the photo next next is adjusting contrast contrast is the range of dark to light tones when it's extra high you see a stark image when all where all where all tones regardless of color are either very dark or very light when it's extra low you see a flat image where no elements in the frame stand out typically you want a middle contrast that avoids either of those extremes but if you prefer either of those effects you can adjust the contrast to achieve that next is adjust color vibrancy and saturations once white balance is adjusted you can further refine colors in your photos with the saturation and vibrancy controls the distinction between the two is subtle increasing vibrancy increases color intensity in neutral color tones and maintains color intensity in the brighter colors increasing saturation makes all colors throughout the frame more intense when bright colors pop it can give the photo a more dramatic look next one is adjust sharpness sharpening an image give gives it a crisper cleaner look many programs offer multiple sharpening tools begin by adjusting the overall amount of sharpness on a scale from 0 to 100 start at 50% then adjust the level up or down to get the sharpness you prefer next is you need to look closely at individual areas of the frame in order to evaluate the of effect of each sharpness adjustment having super fine details won't matter much for social media post but it will make a big difference for any image you plan to enlarge and 
print. Note that sharpening an image can't turn an out of focus shot into an in focus shot. No editing tool can do that. In addition, if you sharpen an image too much, you can create an unnatural halo effect around object objects in the frame. Next is finalize and share your photo. Photos. After you have done all of your editing, set your photos aside. Then come back later and examine them to see if you are happy with each one. If not, make additional editing adjustments where needed. Then, because raw, raw files, then because raw files are so large, you need to convert them to JPGs before you email, post, share, or print your edited photos. You should also save all of the final edited versions of images alongside the original images they came from. <coughs> Next is things to think about before you begin editing. Photo editing programs. Options include advanced and expensive pro programs, free open source online options. And often your camera comes with basic editing softwares as well. If you get a more advanced program, consider whether you want one that's good based a monthly free or you want the standalone version a one time purchase price. Cloud based programs stay up to date and let you store photos in the cloud and edit expense. You can also edit in the field with a tablet or a mobile version of the software. But that assumes you have online connectivity. If you are compared pricing over time, though buying a standalone version of an editing program will usually save your money. Next is importing, importing and sorting photos. A beautiful thing about digital photography is you can make you can take multiple shots to increase the odds of getting some spec spectacular ones. So your step your first step after you transfer and organize your images on your computer is to review them to decide which ones to edit. Next is image resizing. What is image resizing basically? When it comes to image resizing in photo editing, you can utilize various tools and techniques available in editing softwares. Here's how you know how you can resize an image within a photo editing workflow. Open the image, launch your preferred photo editing software and open the image you want to resize. Select the resize tool, look for look for the resize tool or option in your editing software it may be located in the image or edit menu or represented by an icon set dimin set dimensions in the resize dialog box or panel you will typically find options to set the new dimensions of the image you can specify either the width height or both ensure that the aspect ratio is maintained unless intentionally changing it to avoid distortion some softwares allow you to input values in pixels inches or other unit of measurements next is choose resampling method depending on your editing software you may have options to select a resampling method common options include big big interpolation bilinear interpolation or nearest neighbor Bicubic interpolation is often recommended for most resizing tasks as it tends to yield smoother results. Next is preview and adjust. Many editing softwares provide a preview of how the resized image will look. Take a take a moment to review the take a moment to review the preview and make any necessary adjustments to the dimensions or resampling options this ensures that you achieve the desired outcome before applying the changes apply the resizing once you are satisfied with the resizing settings click the apply or ok button to execute the resizing operation 
the software will process the image based on your specifications save the resized image after resizing save the edited image as a new file to preserve the original image choose a file format for example jpeg png and adjust the compression or quality setting if applicable name and save the resized image to a location of your choice thank you so much